There's a lot of cool plants out there, and this is definitely one of them. This is Asclepius hertella. Asclepius hertella. I think it's commonly called the tall green milkweed. The tall green milkweed. And it's really, uh, as you can see, it's got these really long, strapping, narrow leaves. Uh, it has these big umbels of flowers, and we'll look here and get a closer look at that with one that's sitting right next to me. Uh, so let's look at that. Let's start with the flowers first, then we'll get into the, the foliage, the leaves. So those that only have a minute of their attention, they can learn to see all the cool flowers. Uh, these umbels, an umbel um, is the inflorescence that comes to a central point. So think of an umbrella with the spokes coming to the central point. It's a big uh, ball. It's got, uh, I think the numbers, they usually say 30 to 100, but this was split out from uh, Longifolia, Longifolia, and that's more of a southern species, and that's going to have like 10 to 30 flowers, and this is going to have, uh, Hertella is going to have 30 to 100 flowers in one head. And you can see these flowers are in the axles, kind of the top, the top uh, terminal axles of the plant. Well, it's like, it's like exploding fireworks. I mean, really it is. Now let's get a close-up of these flowers. All right, so each one of these flowers is about a quarter of a centimeter long. Uh, so they're, they're pretty short. You can see the petals draped. The petals, the bottom of the petals usually curl up. They kind of curl up. See how that one's here kind of curling up there? So they kind of curl up. Um, they kind of have that pink blush, they're green. The petals are green with that pink blush at the base. The petioles here, the peduncles, um, here the stalk, the flower stalks are hairy. They're hairy. And now this is cool, so the, the gynostigium, and again, watch the introduction video to learn what a gynostigium is. It's kind of sticking out of the the um, the corona. It's just sticking out of the corona. And there's no horns on this species. There's no horns on this species. Let's zoom in. I'm getting a close up on this flower here. Um, sorry for the shakiness. It's really windy out. You can see there's no teeth on there. You can see the hoods uh, are shorter than the gynostigium. Kind of sticks out through it. And then there's that nice space. That that nice space. You see that that nice space between the uh, the petals draping down and the the uh, the corona there with the hoods. Then you see the sepals there. I mean the sepals. See the hairy the hairy petioles going all the way up to the sepals, and you don't really see the sepals once it drapes down. So they're hidden under the the dress of the petals there, but then you can see them here be, while they, before they butt up before they butt up here. The leaves here they're going to be alternate to sub opposite to sub opposite, um, but you can see they're alternate. So the only other species that's really alternate like this is uh, Asclepius tuberosa, Asclepius tuberosa. And that is, uh, that's gonna have those orange flowers and, and the latex on that is gonna be clearer. Whereas the latex on Asclepius hertella, Asclepius hertella, this, um, this one is, uh, is milky, is milky white. So, um, so each one of these leaves uh, they're they're going to be toothless. They're usually con duplicate, so they fold. You can see they're kind of folded, kind of folded there. So they fold. Um, the stems are often, you know, they they turn that reddish green color, that reddish green color as you can see there. They're usually pretty hairless, usually pretty hairless. Um, sometimes, actually, I say that, and then the one I was just looking at back there was pretty hairy. So I think it can be either way. So uh, it can be hairy or not hairy. Uh, the stems, but. Um, but those those petioles again, and then up when you get in the inflorescence, you see this one is hairy, hairy. So uh, these leaves they can get I don't know 10 to 15 centimeters long. Very rugose, very rugose looking. Um, again, linear. Uh, I mean, there's it's hard to there's not a whole lot you can confuse this with, especially when it's in flower. It does kind of look like uh, uh, flora Veritiflora is going to be a shorter plant. This grows up to you know a meter or so, and Veritiflora is going to stay pretty low. Um, and uh, and usually their leaves are, are opposite. Their leaves are opposite. So her, this grows in uh, in dry sandy prairies, um, barrens, I think, uh, kind of open sites. So this looks here like it's Ligeus or Ligeus calmii, the uh, the small milkweed beetle. They it looks like they're eggs, and so. Uh, uh, you know, unless an entomologist sees this and corrects me, I'm, I'm going to call it that. That's, at least in my ignorance, that's what I think it is, which is pretty cool.